The following trailer is rated H for honest. From one of the pioneers of the RPG genre and one of the most storied franchises in video game history comes a game over a decade in the making that finally delivered on the ultimate potential of Final Fantasy. An open world game where you take a road trip with a Japanese boy band. Final Fantasy Versus 13. I mean, uh, 15. Journey to a magical realm that's got all the epic majesty you expect from a Final Fantasy game. Mixed with a bizarre dose of mundane realism as you spend half the game driving a car from place to place, getting plot points on your cell phone, stopping for gas, finding a place to sleep, and watching the characters play sh mobile games, while the other half is slaying giant fantasy monsters with magic teleport powers in a fantasy world that feels as disjointed as it possibly could. And that's before they start breaking the fourth wall. This is like a real-life RPG. Slip into the designer cargo pants of Noctis Lucius, a brooding emo prince from the appropriately goth city of Insomnia, whose name is basically Latin for nightlight. Then discover the true meaning of bromance as you set off on a dude's only journey with him and his merry men, a collection of anime tropes with barely any backstory, but who have so much screen time and personality, you'll care about them way more than the girl you're supposed to be in love with. Homies, dudes, and players before Lady Luna Freyas, am I right? Woohoo! Bath time! Easy there, big guy. Dive into a full on multimedia Final Fantasy experience, including mobile games, animes, and a feature length film, all of which they apparently expected you to get into before you played the game, as they skip most of the standard exposition character and world building and dump you right into the middle of the plot, then break up every major story moment with five hours of hunting, side questing, and discovering new recipes come up with a new recipe until you can barely remember why or what you're doing anymore then watch as they figure it out two-thirds of the way through the game and strap you into an incredibly linear path for the last few hours making you push through one more ultimate evil versus jesus surrogate with crystal power storyline that's as predictable as it is depressing before you can get back to the good stuff literally everything else hmm. you did good ah that's what i'm talking about Tolerate Final Fantasy XV's combat system, a beautiful cluster of swords, teleport effects, and monster bodies that tries to Kingdom Hearts up the standard Final Fantasy combat, but just ends up devolving into chaos whenever there are more than three enemies, and where most fights are either so easy you can win them by mashing a single button, or so hard they will instantly hand you your ass, and you'll be forced to spam the same three Link strikes, slap it with your armature weapons a million times, and toss all of your weird magic grenades until a summon finally decides to show up and crush it in a single hit. Or you just grind your way through by spamming potions like an addict and eventually just slop your way through the entire game because we all know what you're really here for anyway. Lovingly rendered fantasy soup. So jump in your awesome whip, crank up the Backstreet Boys, and discover a unique experience that has ups, downs, and genuine surprises that will make you sit back and wonder, how awesome would this thing be if they had actually f***ing finished it? Starring Dark Cloud, Guy Fieri, Skater Boy, Hashtag Daddy, One Winged Asshole, Another Sean Bites the Dust, Work That Core, Unifreya, Kyrie, Lady Kane, Full Fan Service, Too Old for This Sid, Forrest Whitaker, Unexpected Stereotype, and that one dude from Lost, Entourage 15. Okay, Cub Noodle, I get it. You clearly paid a lot of money for this. Thanks you appreciate how delicious these noodles really are. I know I sure do. Be sure to subscribe for more Honest Game Trailers, and tell me what you'd like to hear me say in my awesome voice. Slippy here, got yourself stuck again? I eat plumbers on a rainy day. Only a Shimada can control the dragons. You look like you struggle with simple tasks. With these upgrades, you never stood a chance.